Securing the future of financial resilience and risk management in the Nigerian university system was the topic of the merging edition of the annual bursary lecture of Ocean State University. The lecture brought together seasoned financial experts, distinguished public officers, technocrats, and financial management professionals who guided as discussants to dissect how the Nigerian university system can be much better administered through the best public accounting and financial management practices. In his remarks, Vice Chancellor of Ocean State University University. Professor Clement Adeboye said the lecture, Securing the Future, resonates deeply with the mission and vision of the institution as the management has the capacity to identify, assess, and mitigate financial risk while embracing innovative and sustainable financial practices. Within the available resources of this university, we have continued to do our best for all the cadres of staff to motivate them and ensure their relative wellness and well-being compared to all other public universities in Nigeria. We also continue to do more of our best with the, with the expectation that to whom much is given, so much is expected in return. This is our university. It must continue to flourish and succeed. Mr. Shola Ogunbile is the Commissioner for Finance in Ocean State and Chairman of the Day who moderated the discussion. Is something that you know we be the kind of meeting guys that will put that will mitigate any form of breaches that can undermine us in achieving our financial goals. While delivering his lecture on the topic of the event, the lead discussant, Mr. Abiodun Adedeji, described financial resilience as the ability to adjust and respond to financial crises. He maintained that with the current economic reality, most universities must start thinking out of the box to implement tough reforms that will determine their financial strength and enhance their survival. Other discussants, such as Al Haji Jimo Bankoli, Chief Afolabi Igbarola, Professor Akim Salami, Dr. Amos Akiola and Mr. Toby Abiola spoke on the need for proper budgeting and savings within the university system. They noted that the future of the university cannot be secured without planning, and such planning must involve having an emergency fund, diversifying revenue streams, fostering strategic partnership with government agencies, alumni associations, industries, and philanthropies, insurance coverage, effective and efficient debt management mechanisms, among others. We must understand that the is not going to be wrong like a public service again. You are going to run your university like a private sector. Otherwise, you cannot survive. The blood to any system is like funding. If funding is efficient, it will affect everything. When you want to stand under the, the stress, you have to make proper planning and you must have prepared to be able to uh, stand during the period. Social capital is one of the ways you are used to manage inevitable financial challenges. It is important to take proactive steps to reduce any potential danger regardless of level of uncertainties. Earlier in his address of welcome, the buzzer of Ocean State University, Ms. Abolariwa Feruke, stated that the expertise of the Buzzer Department on budgeting, financial planning, payment processing, and accounting has kept the university running smoothly and allows them to focus on their core mission of teaching and research. Mr. Feruke noted that the Buzzer Department has made significant strides in streamlining its operations, ensuring efficiency, and embracing technology to serve the university better. The Buzzer Department plays a pivotal function in safeguarding our financial stability, ensuring efficient allocation of our very, very limited resources. This is achieved through our meticulous effort by providing essential financial services to our entire academic community. The event featured the presentation of awards of excellence to some notable individuals, among whom were Mr. Abiodun Adedeji, Professor Shola Akinriadi, Dr. Fatai Lassisi, and late Mr. Samson Adebite, among others, for their invaluable contributions to the growth of the institution. Oluchi Amuda, OSBC News.